That's Kenny, quick we're looking at a guy, we're looking at a guy, LeBron James, in that 38-point opener, and there were so many times in the second quarter of that game where it was just, let's watch him. Somebody's going to be sent to guard him on the island. He's going to take him to the hole and score. And this is, is this the focus of what you did on the court earlier today? It's, it's the focus of guarding LeBron James. I think that there's certain things that you have to try to do and there's certain things to guard him. You way he just can't have his way with you. That's what's important. There. Let's roll this from earlier this afternoon. All right, Ernie, I'm two places at once. I'm upstairs and I'm downstairs. And I'm going to just talk to you about guarding LeBron James. Because you got to think of him, one, he's a point guard. He is not a power forward. He's not a center. He's not a small forward. So when he's coming at you, you think of him as a point guard because why? He's coming to get a pick and roll. Six foot nine, 240, he's coming to get a pick and roll. But he, this is, the, this is what he does better than anybody else. He lets you believe that you guarded him, and he starts backing up. But what he really wants to do is come at you to get you on your heels. So if you're the Boston Celtics, when he turns around, this is when you should come and defend and do not allow him the space to run at you. Because once he gets you on your heels, he puts his shoulder in, he's too big, too strong, and finishes at the rim too easily. So you do not want to do that. But Shout out to my man Damon Jones for the shooting coach because one thing that he has done better is that he shoots the three-point shot. So when he comes back and you start backing so far off, he will let it go from three-point land. His three-point shot is improved tremendously. And this is what separates him from every superstar in the NBA today. Because every single time you do this, he will make this play. You come to double every time he makes that pass. Not once, not twice, every time. If you're in there in the corner, what makes him special is that he has enough size and strength to throw over the defense without a lob pass. So that if the defense is coming from the baseline, he's strong enough, which I can't even do at times with nobody guarding me, is make a perfect pass from here to the corner without the ball being a lob pass or getting intercepted. So his ability to make that pass every single time separates him. So if you're the Boston Celtics, you have to decide when and how. But the most important thing I think is when he starts turning around to back up, you have to come and eat up space. If you do not eat up space, you will not be on your heels. And now you can slide defensively and you're able to play him better. You're not gonna stop him, but you're able to play him better. Guard and LeBron. I made one. <laughs> I, I was expecting much more celebration, but, no, no, no. but I guess you were acting like that. You know what? You are right, because you was breathing hard. I was out of breath. I was out of breath. You was breathing hard. No question. I, I ain't hooping a long time. <laughs> but you know what I, I said, Chuck? When he turns around, that's like the insurance at the blackjack table. That, that's the sucker's bet. He's thinking, making you believe that he, he's got you well, guarded, all, if he and ever, he comes back at if you. If he ever disrespected me like that and turned his back, and that's, be, what, that's and, what I'm saying. But, and when he's spinning the ball, you just got to knock the hell out of him one time so you <laughs> you can beat me. But like when he's spinning the ball and then shoots three in somebody's eyes, uh, he just turns his back and talks to the crowd. You just got to knock the hell out of him. Yeah, yeah. I'm not taking that. Chuckster, did you see the parade of Celtics that they threw at him the other night and trying to defend him on that very play that, well, that uh, Kenny was talking about? Just uh, take a look and see. And come out. This is not. This is just uh, a just bad matchup. That's not fair. Al Horford can't guard him. Well, it's, got be, it's, right it's got to be Jay Crowder. First of all, look at this. Are you oh, kidding Isaiah me? Thomas, come on. Let me tell you something. I'm a, I, listen, this is a guy right here. I think you can put. You only, it's only two guys got a chance. Crowder and Smart. They don't, this dude, this dude. Come on, T oh turns back. Man. Come on, come are on, man. Are you kidding me? Get his kid a blue ball and blue cigarette. Oh come on, man. Come on, man. That's ridiculous. You have to eat up that space. I, honestly, there's only one guy I would not leave on this team. Two guys, rather. Kyrie Irving and, and no, uh, I Kevin would put, Love. I would put well, Crowder on him and smart and let LeBron do his thing. That ain't the reason they lost but, the other night. You, you can't, can't let Kevin Love get 30. You see, Brad Stevens, Brad Stevens says he doesn't want to have to double LeBron Got because they have such good he shooters. To, but, he says, but he says, but it may be necessary. No, Ernie, they didn't lose the game because of LeBron the other night. If LeBron gets his 30, you can't let Kevin Love get 30. That was the difference in the game. Kenny, what about, what about 
backing off and saying, okay, LeBron, I'm not going to let you drive to the hole, John King. You're going to have to shoot this jumper all night. And make but see, but if we make the jump all night, then yeah. Yeah, but, but what he get, does, when you back off him, he turns his back, and then he comes at you like it's a fast break. And so he puts his shoulder in. So it's impossible. He's If you don't eat up the space, he will up with the dribble. So it, he that's what makes him the best player in the world because he's like, no. And then he'll take a couple. But if he's hitting them, he's going to keep shooting. If he's not, he's going to then he's going to say, no, you know, I'm going to turn my back. Oh, you better back off me. All right, I'm going to let you. you like that. Yeah, that, that don't let yeah, a guy great. turn his back, take the ball between his legs. Oh. All I need is get you back ain't to gonna do the floor. Nothing. Come on, man. You ain't going to do nothing. Come on, man. And that, that's, uh, well, we're watching the best player in, in the, the world. world. But you have to, you can't take, you have to say there's one thing that we're not going to allow him to do. And that should be driving. Well, and whatever it is, you gotta make him shoot the only jumper. way to me to stop him driving is a double. And don't you also have to have the mentality on the Boston side, we're swinging first tonight. We're not going to yes. come out in our gym and get punched in the mouth and, and, and be backed well, into a corner. This is a must win right. for the Celtics tonight. This is, this is anti-sweep mode. They lose tonight, we'll be done by next Tuesday. If they don't win tonight, we'll yeah. be done I by they, Tuesday. We'll be, in, keep we'll, 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 we don't, we'll be doing it if they don't win tonight. Give me here. One, two, three, can't come. Cool. The, um, uh, they're going to win tonight. One, one win of tonight. the areas that uh, was kind of overlooked the other night, too, was just getting to the free throw line because Boston only went 10 for 18 from the line. Cleveland 28 for 35. So they outscored it by 18 there. Celtics actually had 30 had 33 assists the other night in that game, but they were so far behind early that it really didn't matter. Cleveland Cavaliers running away, wire to wire in game one.